praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You are watching me, Heaven and Air Life program, which we used to do every day, 9 a.m., Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. Nigeria time to 10 or 11 a.m. The person speaking to you is opposed to Peter Daniel, opposed to Peter Daniel from Nigeria, from Nigeria on those state. Uh, by the special grace of God, uh, we are going to have our service this morning. And this is just to tell you to your ear that we used to do deliverance, deliverance, deliverance program. We call it deliverance hour every 9 p.m. to 10 or 11 p.m. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. That one is Monday to Sunday, every day. So kindly join us in this program if you know you want your spiritual life to grow. If you know you want to be set free from every satanic attack, if you know you want to be free from every demonic activities, you join us in this uh, this uh, this heaven and air program and in deliverance hour. God bless you in the name of Jesus. This is to tell you to tell it in your ear that uh, we used to have our special service. Special service by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Saturday, 10 a.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. Also, oh, God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, we want to go into the word of God straight away. I want you, I want us to pray. I want us to pray as we go into the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. We say thank you, O oh God, for giving us the privilege to stand before your throne. My Father, my God, I ask you, Jesus Christ, that you give us the ability to marunde setianga sukiaba latia satalia mangosia. We, we ask you, Father, oh God, that you wash us with your blood, oh Lord, and sanctify us this morning. Purify our soul, our spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you, oh God, to speak to us, oh Lord. Speak from the throne of heaven, oh God. Speak from the throne of heaven, oh God. We ask you to open our sight, our vision, our knowledge, our, our spiritual our mental in the name of Jesus. Christ, that everyone who hear this, we be seen. Thank you because you have answered all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, everybody, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we want to go into the word of God straight away. We don't have time at all. We don't have time at all today. I want to share with you. How I was asleep for 13 years. Listen to me, everybody. I want to share with you how I was asleep for 13 good years. I was enslaved by the spirit of lust 13 good years. Starting from when I was this small, for 13 good years, I was masturbating. For 13 good years, I was full of lust. I want everybody to listen to this, whether you are married or not, whether you are single or not, whether you can control yourself or not. Listen to this attentively.
I was enslaved in the powers of masturbation. Lost after women. Self seen. Spiritual intercourse. Physically budget for spiritual intercourse. Physically never disbudget, but spiritually disbudget. I was very young age. If I could remember. when I started to masturbate. The spirit was so much in my life that I can masturbate three times a day. I can masturbate three times a day. During this moment, I could remember it was around when I was still very young and I began to watch movie. Let me tell you something. Today, I will teach you how I was inside it and how I, God set me free and how you too can be totally free from the spirit of lust, completely free from the spirit of lust. I want to tell you a secret that you never know. You will always see that whenever a man see a woman, loss will come inside him or her. And whenever a woman see a man, loss will come inside her or him. The reason is this. It all started from the day God created us. When God created Adam, the Bible said he created him in his own image. Adam was in that of the Eden for many and many and thousands of years before Eve came into existence. Before Eve came into existence, God has thoroughly thought, think about it. Though the plan of God is not that everyone will see like this, but the plan of God is that they, in my, in my, in my, in my, in my created people, and be my, you know, in my created them, me and female, and be my produced, be my produce, and we my all multiply in the whole world. That is why God did what I want to tell you. What I want to tell you is this. You see that when Adam, Adam was there, nothing happened. He never think about women. He never think about having a, any compassion, uh, companion until God sees himself and sees if this man need a companion. I, I supposed to be, you know, to be telling you from the scripture, but uh, because of the time and because of the, I mean, sorry, the battery of my laptop, because I told you earlier that, uh, that uh, I'm just uh, using a place. Now, this is not my office because of the issue with my, my electric something. So, what am I saying say now? Eve, when God wanted to create Eve, the Bible said, he did a surgery for Adam and he removed part of Adam rib. Listen to this very well. Part of Adam rib, he removed one or two, anyone 
He removed part of it and he used that ring to create a woman. Part of man. Now, when that thing happens, when God finished doing that, he closed the place back that you there's no sign that any uh, operation was done in that body. So when after God have done that, he bring Eve to Adam. God never tell Adam that Adam, this is your wife. God never tell Adam that Adam, I, I remove anything from you. It was a secret in heaven. But Adam could know because he saw something that is different. You know, in that time, Adam was still carrying the image of God. I mean, the full image whereby he was possessed with the presence of God. He was endowed with the glory of God that he is not even wearing bolster, he's not even wearing pant, he's not even wearing trousers, he's not even wearing shirt as I'm wearing it. The clothes Adam were wearing in those days was the glory of God. Glory of God was his cloth. That when you are seeing Adam, you'll be seeing him in glory. You cannot see his nakedness. So when Eve came, Adam saw Eve and he said, oh my God, this is the rib of my rib, the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she is taken out of me. How did he know? Nobody tells him, but there is a mag there is a magnet. Listen to this very well. There is a magnet between Adam and Eve. There is a connection between Adam and Eve that when Adam see him, there is a something that transpires that 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 that, that, that makes him to know that this is out of me. There's a connection in the flesh. There's a connection in the spirit that Adam has to recognize that this woman is taken out of me. Now, after the glory, the Bible did not say the half intercourse. The way God near the, you know, people, pastors, we pastors are saying that sexual intercourse is from God. Yes, you are not lying. But it is not the way God has organized it to be in the first instance. The way God has organized it is that God has planned that when the time for both of them should have intercourse, it will be initiated by him. It will be him that will set up this time for you to have intercourse. Have intercourse. It will just open the ground. He has prepared how it's going to be. Yeah, it will just open the ground. Not that we just bounce upon our and have having sex like that. No, 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 no. It is him that we 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 we, we, we open the ground for them and they will have the see their nakedness and have intercourse. It's as if God will just open the eyes of the both persons. Hey, see your this thing. Hey, see my this thing. And from them, they will just have intercourse together. Their love will be there and they will have intercourse together. And after the intercourse, they will come back to their glory again. That is exactly the way God wanted it to be. That is why during the time they were in the Garden of Eden, they did not have intercourse throughout. And they were, and they have been living, Eve has been living with Adam after he was created for many, many, many years. How will a man be living with a woman and you will not have a ticket of having intercourse or even open a, a cloth? A woman. It was because they were seeing themselves as a brothers and sister. They were seeing themselves as a couple of friends. They were not seeing themselves as a because the glory was with them. When the, the, when the glory of God is with you, you'll be seeing yourself, you and your wife, as a friend. You will not see her just like a wife, but you'll be seen as, as a partner, a partner in Christ. So that is exactly the way Adam and Eve were feeling with each other in those days. That's why throughout many years, which I couldn't mention the thousands of the years they lived together. I couldn't say, 
hundreds of years, let me say uh, hundreds of years they live together. I couldn't say this particularly years they live together. But uh, the, the, according to what is in the Bible, I am unsure of the years they live together. And during the year they live together in the Garden of the Eden, they never think to us and say, okay, my dear, let me have it because with you. No, because in those times, the glory was still with them. Later on, when they eat the forbidden fruit and the both party, the glory of the Lord shifted out of their body. The lost begin from the garden of Eden. The plan of God cancelled. The way God wants sexual intercourse to be carried was, was changed because the glory of God was not there again. So the earth, well, by the time uh, Adam, Adam, the glory left, but, eh, eh. even Adam did not even know that it is, you know, he's having something that he must cover. Eh, eh. Don't look at my penis. And the sister said, eh, don't look at my breast. And both of them, they left each other. They went to go and hide in different kind, different place. So Adam created something and they covered themselves. From that moment, Adam saw her, and Eve saw him, they begin to have loss. That even when God has created and came and give them whatever he wants, he, he, he caused and do everything like that, he, he sent them out of that garden of Eden and, and, and did not allow them to eat the fruit of life again. When they sent them out of that garden of the Eden, the Bible said they have intercourse. You see that? But the time they were in the glory, they never think of intercourse. But when they left the place, that is why if you go to heaven today, there's nothing like intercourse in heaven. There's nothing like, this is my wife, this is my husband in heaven. There's nothing like rumors in heaven. There's nothing like I want to make love in heaven. There's nothing like I want to, I want to have a kiss, a, a, a mouth to mouth kiss in heaven. No, 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 no. Our only husband is Jesus. Even me, as I'm, I'm a man, I'm going to be a wife of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Even me, as a man, even Brother Friday, even Brother, everybody that is, you are losing, uh, people who are going to make heaven, we are going to become a man, we are going to become a wife of Jesus. Why Jesus will be our husband? You women too, you are also going to be wife too, if you make heaven. So we are going to be a wife. That's why there's no, because the glory that was taken away from Adam in those days will be given to us that when we see them like you, when we see them as, hey, since that time I said, you make heaven, he said, daddy, hey, bless this, sir. There's no, you are not going to come in daddy there. I'm just going to come in brother Peter. I'm not even going to put a post to there. <laughs> uh, you're not going to put a post to there. It will be, hey, brother, I will say to sister, Tama, I say, brother, hey, ah, ah. so you make a, I will all give in that place. Our all in that place is not going to be lost. It's not that physically I all and you start, ah, see, hey, see the way pastor is even all me. me. Hey, uh, that one will not be there. Uh -huh, that one will not be there. That thought will not be there. That hug in that F will be only hug. No even thinking. We can even if I, if you are there, I can hug you as long as possible. Nothing will happen between you and I. But now physically, I cannot even hug you. And it's because uh, it's very dangerous. Uh -huh. Because we are in the flesh. We are in the image of Adam, whereby loss has came in. But in that moment, we are going to be in the image of God, whereby loss will not be there any longer. So that is why when you see children of nowadays, children of nowadays, when you see children of nowadays, you will see them that what they are practicing in this time are more than what they know. It's more than their knowledge. Children of nowadays, they will be doing father and mother. Covering themselves, running after, uh, run after uh, 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 with uh, with each other. By the time you look at them and go and trace them, you'll be seeing them doing corrupted things. 
that it is? It's because the question is that, is it that they're learning from the father? No. It is the flesh of Adam that is in their bodies. And let me tell you I, how I was, in that, uh, I was in that bondage for 13 years. It all started with television. I tell you Christians, I pray in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of television, watching worldly films, in your life, in my life, in everybody that is watching me, every spirit completely die in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, you have to get to a realm whereby you will see television and we say, please, I don't want to see it anymore. It all started with televisions. I begin to watch films. I begin to watch films. But the time I begin to watch films and a demon came from that, from that television and burst in my life. A demon come out of that television and burst in my life. And from there, lust began. Lust began. I remember in those days that the loss was so terrible that I'm looking for who I can have intercourse with. I was a very young age, very young age. At my age, I was still doing those nonsense things. I begin to masturbate. Anytime I come across any girl and I see them, I would think, far. Maybe a sister is passing and he's just he's, he's uh, shaking his uh, bottom. I will look at her and from there I will begin to have lost with her in my heart. I will go immediately when I see that it's too much in my body, I will run in inside my room, lock my door off every year and I will begin to masturbate myself. I will begin to think it and begin to masturbate as if I've already have it because of that sister physically. It come to a stage until I begin to bring out semen, that's part. So this continue for many years until I enter into Christ. I'm saying this, to you so that you can learn. When I enter into Christ, this continue. Even my old, my Christianity does not stop me from having masturbation there. I'm telling you a blunt truth. A Christian pastor will tell you that give your life Jesus Christ will stop it, that there's a part of, it's a lie. It is true that giving your life Jesus Christ will help you. Because it will create fear of God in your heart. But that does not mean that is a deliverance way. Until you make a normal, you follow the procedure and the principle. You follow the principle of how to be free. And what is the principle? I will tell you. I became a Christian. And when I was to became a Christian, I would pray and study the Bible because when I start my Christianity, I started I start it very strong. Listen to me. The difference between my Christianity and not my Christianity was that the time I was in Christianity then, I didn't always do it like before, that I used to do it almost every day. Maybe once in two weeks or once in one month or once in one and a half month. I will do it. Probably when I just go and his sister says, hey, brother Peter, brother Peter. I say, sister, I bless you. Maybe by shaking the hands of that sister, that thing will just scream again. And I will start thinking of, ah, see how the hand of that sister is so soft. Eh? Oh my God. And from, and from there, that thing will just start again that I want to have intercourse with that sister and I will begin to masturbate. I'm telling you blunt truth. It's not easy to be free from masturbation and lost. One of the most dangerous things, since when I was born again, I have been crying for God to set me free. I never get set free then. 
I was breaking, see me crying. There was a time I want to go and commit suicide. Because in those, in those moments, I am going to see a real relationship with God. And I still find myself that in one particular point of life, I fall into masturbation again. And it pains me to the deep of my heart. And I think of myself that I want to go and commit suicide, that I have been offending God. This is what happened to every Christian that fall into masturbation. Do you know what I do? I begin to look for solution all around. I could not share my testimony with anybody because all those Christian time, God, you see, sometimes don't be, don't be surprised. Masturbation does not say God will not manifest for you. Eh? Masturbation does not say you will not sing song. Go. You can be singing song. And people say, hey, that sister voice is very sweet. In fact, and yesterday you just masturbate. Masturbation does not say you will not preach your dinner. Uh, so don't you let so you think that if I see a man, I just believe you are no 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 I don't just do that. So I passed through it before. Masturbation, because from the right time, from the beginning of my life, I've been preaching holiness. Must I will also preach against masturbation? Meanwhile, I am myself, I'm doing it. Eh? Then I'm not talking about now anyway. Not now anymore. <laughs> I'm just talking about then, then. Yesterday, the Lord spoke to my ear and said, I should speak. I was talking with my wife after yesterday's service. I was talking to my wife and I hear the voice that speak and said, teach your people how to overcome lust. And I said, my wife, I said, bring me barrel, bring me barrel, bring me barrel. And she bring me barrel and I put it down. I put the topic down and I said, okay, I'm going to teach them how to do that. I will rush it because of fire did something. I, I, I go through this, I fasted. You cannot fast like me, my brother and sister. I am a lover of God to the core. I have been seeing Jesus since when I was seven years. So I know what I'm saying. You cannot fast like me. I fasted, I cried, I prayed. Who, who did I want to tell my matter for? People have been seeing me as a holiness brother. Who should I tell? If I tell them it will discourage, if you discourage their faith. My, fa my pastor then is not ready to listen to me. Always be serious and dear. If I even tell him my problem, he will not answer me. He will say, hey, go and pray, hey, go and pray. That's the highest. He won't tell me what to do. So I was afraid of that shame. My brother and sister, don't, don't hide yourself. If you hide yourself, you will die in it. Open yourself to your pastor. Ah! Huh? For many years, I was passing it to in deliverance. Meanwhile, I will be casting out demons, casting out masturbation spirit. Meanwhile, I myself, I have the spirit inside me. Do you now know how it used to work? Whenever I wanted to cast out demon in the life of a sister, and that sister is also in, is also falling in, maybe is also being, he also, he also possess the spirit of uh, masturbation and seduction and lost spirit. And I want to cast it out, maybe the sister is manifesting already. My, 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 my private past will begin to come up during deliverance week. Because that spirit will connect to my own spirit. That spirit of that masturbation and loss will also connect to my own spirit. Meanwhile, I myself am masturbating. I myself am full of loss. It's only that I will ask for forgiveness. I will say, okay, let me holiness, holiness, holiness. One more time. I will fall by him together. I will say, oh God, forgive me. Holiness, holiness, holiness. So by the time I was doing all those things, I wanted to cast out the more, my something will be standing. So I will have to use tie, cover it very well, and <laughs> I will be walking out, I'll be bending as if I, I'm tired. I'll be doing like this, as if I'm tired. I'll be using tie to hold my leg. When the thing come down a little bit, I will, I will use tie and stand up and say, hey, I'll be crossing the bar. Men then crossing the la battles here. I'll begin to speak in tongue. Le grass in the bowl, it's all lies. 
I just to use that to say that I, I charge myself. I will go there and begin to cast out. By the time I said, I touch this, I like, bam, that thing will come up again. Boom. I will use that again. I come down. I say, hey, God, I will do as if my back is paining me. You know, I will eventually cast out the demon. But I myself, by the time I get home again, I, if I remember the way the sister, when we have, I'm praying the river and the sister touch me and do all this, thing, I'm telling you reality life. I'm telling you this. Life. I'm telling you the life. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling you because God asked me to tell you my past experience. When the sister touched me like that, I will begin to give me, I will, I will masturbate again at all. After delivering somebody, I will go home and masturbate. That's how terrible it is in my life then. Terrible. Very terrible. But how did I get such thing? It got to a thing that I'm beginning to relent that I'll be praying. I pray for two good years. I said good years. Ah, uh, it's a mistake. I pray for, for five good years. As a Christian and as a pastor. I was a pastor. I was a deliverance pastor. I was still masturbating. Eh? When I get married, I was still masturbating. So marriage does not stop masturbation until you get yourself free from it. I get married, I still masturbate. In that country, a level whereby I begin to think about myself that how will I be free? I was thinking that it's because I don't have wife. That's why. When I have wife, after maybe sometimes we finish something, it might be tomorrow, I will not feel like having it with her and I will be masturbating myself. Because his demon was there. I will not tell you the, 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 the consequences of masturbation for now, because my time will not permit me. But I will tell you how you can be free quickly. And we will end the program quickly. How did that go free? I put, I put it in prayer point every day. I begin to cast it out every day, whether I feel it or I don't feel it. Every morning prayer, when I pray, I know that I, 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 I must mention masturbation in my life. I begin to cast, I will, I will say, every spirit of loss, out, out, out. So when I begin to say it every day, and I begin to avoid all the sisters around me, I begin to avoid, during the moment, I never have it across with any woman. But masturbation and loss was my problem. During the time I was a, I was even a pastor, I was a, I was a Christian brother, I, was, I never have it across with any sister. I don't, live, I don't know how to do that. But I was masturbation inside my heart, inside, inside my room. Once in a month, sometimes twice in a month, sometimes tw once in two months. So I begin to cast it out. I begin to cast it out. I begin to cast it out. I fasted. When I fasted, I got to see that my casting out is not, is not as effect as me avoiding anything my eyes see. Then I start dealing with my eyes. I begin to pray. A prayer of Job. A prayer of Job. Who says that I made a covenant with my eyes. That I will not behold a, a maid. I begin to pray that prayer. And that prayer, I begin to, I did not just pray that prayer, I begin to avoid any appearance of sexual intercourse. When I see them, I said, no, fire. I cast it immediately. When the thought came to my mind, I cast it immediately. I ran away. Jesus met me in the dream many times. And Jesus Christ met me and told me that I should completely run away from anything television. Anything watch a uh, uh, film, anything whether Nigeria film or America films, as you avoid it completely. 
and as you start listening to spiritual tongues and spiritual messages. So the, the Lord told me Jesus Christ was the one that teach me how to be free before I get free. He told me to completely leave it. Then he told me that I should, he said, if I leave it, that out of all percent of bondage I am into, it's as if I have really, I have taken away about 60 or 70%. That rest is a small one. He now says, I should avoid sisters. Then I follow the procedures. When I see any picture that is dirty picture, I don't want to see it. I became annoyed. annoyed. Then I begin to pray the prayer of doom. I begin to cast out every loss in myself every day. My dear, this demon jumped up, up one day and got born. I saw three dogs come out of my body. Three dog, dog, And they ran out some point. And since that day, I never experienced masturbation again. So how can you set free yourself? The way you can be free, even as a married couple, that does not see you are not having uh, lost. If you see a brother and your heart is feeling as if he should have intercourse with you, it's a sign that you are in the bondage of lust. If you see a sister and it's, uh, my sister, if I could have opportunity to have intercourse with her, it's a, a sign that you are in the bondage of lust. You must completely set yourself free that even when the brothers is sitting in your by your side like this, you will not know maybe a man is sitting there. You will see that man as a normal girl like you. It will come into an extent that if Sister Tama came, or Sister Fumi came, or Sister uh, uh, sister, uh or the sister came to me and they said, ah, Pastor, and they said to me, and I said the sister, and they sit beside me, we talk for like three, four, four five hours. I must not feel that I must I, I must see I'm just a sister. I just I'm talking like a normal brother like me. I must not have any feeling at all. That is the same way you must feel. And that's how I feel. It's, in fact, the more you sit with me, the more I will start seeing you as a, a, a brother. I mean a lady. The more a lady sit with me, the more the, I'll be seeing the lady as a brother. There's nothing a woman can show me now that can move me. Even my own personal wife. I have intercourse with her when I feel like having it. Taking a bait in my presence does not move me. Doing anything in my presence does not move me at all. Because the lust is not there. I can feel like, okay, let me just have it with her. And if I must have it, it will be only her. I will not think about a woman. This is exactly the way you should feel as a Christian, even as a married woman. And as a single, you must feel as if Jesus is your husband. You must swear a, 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 a you must make a pledge of holiness and righteousness to God. Masturbation is the most dangerous element. All loss is a dangerous enemy Satan can fight with, uh, can fight any man. I got set free by following this simple procedure. I was very careful in internet. I don't just go into internet. When I go into internet, I go because of preaching. And when I finish the preaching, I come back. I mean, listen to preaching. When I finish listening to preaching, I come back. I lock everything. I follow this procedure. Facebook, I don't go to Facebook at all. Then, but now I used to go to Facebook now. Nothing happened to me. I don't go there at all. Then I follow this procedure, and this procedure was able to help me to the call. And I pray for you. Every spirit of lust in your life. I bind you and I command you to come out of that body in the name of Jesus Christ. You say to me, if you are passing through this type of temptation and trials, a lustful art or a, a masturbation life, as you are hearing me now, if you have not joined our Zoom delivery program, come and WhatsApp me and join us now so that you can be totally free. 
totally free. Where we used to do deliverance program every night. But I believe that by the time we begin to pray, that demon will jump up out and will never come again. Maybe I will say to, to you another time whereby I will, I will tell you the consequence of sexual, of, uh, of uh, masturbation and lust. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I will stop here by God's grace. My name remains Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in Heaven and Air Live program, which we used to do every 9 a.m. to 10 or 11 a.m. And we used to do our deliverance program every 9 p.m. Nigeria time to 10 or 11 p.m. So make sure you join us. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, everyone watching me right now. God bless you in Jesus' name. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Subscribe to it. Don't just go. Don't just go. Subscribe to my channel. As you watch me, subscribe to my channel. And uh, like, uh, press the bell button so that you can hear and listen to more of my messages. God bless you. God bless you. My name remains Apostle Peter Daniel. It is well with your soul in Jesus' name. Thank you. Bye-bye.